If you guys would like to get yourself some official SimC merchandise, check out my Spreadshirt link in the description below for t-shirts, hoodies, mugs and cups. If you do make a purchase, send me a photo on Twitter and I will retweet it. But regardless, let's get stuck into the video. Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Seven Kingdoms Total War, a Game of Thrones mod for Total War Attila. Here today, we have the Loot Train Battle from Season 7 of Game of Thrones. We have the Field of Fire. So guys, I want to make a deal with you. If this video can hit 500 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today and release the second Seven Kingdoms Total War video I have planned. I plan to do probably about five more videos of this let me know in the comments what other custom maps you would like me to do I haven't gone through and done all the battles for season 7 of Game of Thrones so I do plan on doing that so we have the Lannister vs Targaryen field of fire field of fire battle here today I'll put the uh, the mod in the description below so you guys can play along with me but just look how magnificent this map looks fire blowing in the wind Dothraki getting ready to charge so I plan on doing the Battle of the Blackwater next, Stannis vs Joffrey, and then the Frozen Lake battle between Jon and the Night King. Stannis' charge beneath the wall when he hits the wildlings, cuts through them like piss through snow, and then we've got the Massacre at Hardhome as well. So a lot of these maps are on the workshop, I'll put them in the description below as the videos come out. So I am playing as the Lannisters, we are outnumbered in this battle here today, and we do have Tarly reinforcements which I can't control, but if you guys can't remember, there were actually Tarly forces in the TV show, some people didn't even pick up on it, there were some Tarly regiments fighting with Jamie Lannister and Sir Bronn of the Blackwater, here we go, here we go. we've got the Dothraki charge. We're playing sort of a, it looks a lot more green <laughs> than the actual Field of Fire battle. But here we go. The Dothraki pushing heavily on the right hand side and through the breach here. And the Dothraki screamers are coming through. The Tarlys have just engaged. So the majority of my army is made up of spearmen and swordsmen. I have no cavalry units from what I can remember, except for Jamie's bodyguard and Randall Tarlys who, who's fighting in this. They have cavalry, and they also have skirmisher superiority. I've only brought four units of longbows. They have mounted Dothraki. They're pushing through here now, even clipping some of my archers. Hold on, men. Hold the line. There you go. That's perfect. So hammer and anvil tactics is the main thing. Fire damage doesn't incur. So it looks like they're pretty much trying to hit me full on from the right-hand side. They've got skirmishers sitting back and relaxing, cool, calm, and collected, drawing their bows. I'll also put in the description the Seven Kingdoms Total War link. And I've got some disappointing news about it. They've decided to take a break for a mod for a little, for, for a little while, either because they haven't, then they've stopped enjoying it, or they're just busy with other commitments. So the mod is on a bit of a hiatus at the moment. I have no idea if it's going to be coming back. But um, yeah, go check out the mod DB for updates ever so often I guess if you want to sort of stay connected and stay up to date with the Seven Kingdoms Total War team alright we're doing well we're holding incredibly on the right and the left hand side luckily fire damage doesn't do well the fire doesn't do any damage but it just looks absolutely magnificent doesn't it Lannisters burning and fighting or fighting for Jamie Lannister Bronn there as well still pissed off he doesn't have his castle but yeah I do plan to do more of these Seven Kingdom Total War videos so let me know if uh, there are any more custom maps you would like me to play on because I do tend to miss them sometimes on the same workshop. Right, we're doing pretty well here. We're holding off the front line. Jamie Lannister we're losing a couple of casualties but we want to try and keep him close to get that morale boost. He's holding on well. Oh no! Horsey! Copped, he, he hasn't got a shield, he's just sort of hell, holding up his metal golden hand. Looks like the Tarly forcemen aren't doing too well, some of them are retreating. The Dothraki are coming in with another charge with their Uruks. We are heavily outnumbered here, especially on horseback. But only time will tell if we prevail. We're holding the line quite convincingly, two rungs of men. The right hand side is really peppering us back. We might need to move over some reinforcements at some point. 
Okay, we're doing quite well. They are bugging out a little bit. Their archers are really what's doing the worst bit over here. And just constant charging. Look how much depleted my Lannister units here. Hold on, men! Hold the line! Oh, they're even, like, routing. I'm gonna have to swing some blokes around to help with support. My front line here is just holding absolutely spectacularly. They are getting quite close to Jamie Lannister. Look at that! Just throwing him from the horse. That's right, kick him off. For Tywin. For Joffrey. I guess Thomas, no, I don't know. For Cersei, I guess. <laughs> the Lannister army up in blaze. Not even much of an incursion on this left-hand side whatsoever. I don't know what the fuck Randall Tarly's doing back here. Right, you know what? We've basically got guys sitting idly by. So let's push them up. Auga, auga. Right, let's try and swing some other blokes around. You know what? Go for a counter charge. They're sitting back a bit now, which is not what we want. Simply because they've got skirmisher superiority. And we actually pretty much lost this right flank. Oh no, she's nearly all over Red Rover on this right flank. We have capitulated. I'm sending reinforcements on the right hand side. Two units of Lannister spearmen are coming up. While the center and the left center are pushing up. To deal with the Lannisters there. We're doing quite well. We're pushing up where we can. Like I said, we don't... The skirmishes are the main problem. But that right flank absolutely collapsed. I'm going to pull Jamie back because his general bodyguard is quite low. He's been holding out for quite a while, just getting those morale boosts and buffs. Man, those cheeky fuckers. Those Dothraki are just sitting back, cool, calm and collected. Knocking and loosing arrows quite often. So we're going to be pushing up with some of my swordsmen here. Pretty even amount of both swordsmen and spearmen. Because... Yeah, I, I didn't want to put too many spearmen in because it's a little bit overpowered when you're fighting cavalry, of course. Okay, so it looks like we made a a front line on this sort of centre here. We are encroaching them quite a bit. I gave the Dothraki a pretty decent variant of cavalry. I gave like their big horde units, spearmen, swordsmen, and an abundance of archers as well. So we are slightly favoured to win. We've only got five of our swordsmen left. However, we probably have around about nine or so of our spearmen. So they're just sitting back here. Most of the actual cavalry is in a full retreat, except for that right-hand side. It's still pretty early days whether or not we're going to win this. But we'll see how we go. We'll go for the general unit. He is the only infantry unit for the, um, the Targaryens. And it's commanded by Grey Worm, I believe. Unsullied. So we're going to have some Lannister and Unsullied action. Cavalry even coming in with the assist. Come on, let's get these fucking cowards who fight for freedom. These cockless cowards. I really didn't like that speech in Season 7. <laughs> Tyrion didn't really make much sense. Anyway. I just kind of disagree with it. Oh no! Hold on. I love the um, <laughs> umbrella spears that they've got going on. Kind of reminds me of Hagrid's bloody wand umbrella. Okay, I'm trying to surround and kill Grey Worm here. We've pushed out from the front lines, but it really just shows you how much a dragon is worth. Obviously, there's not going to be a dragon appear in this video, which would be awesome, but they're definitely not going to be putting dragons or giants in any time any time soon. They don't plan on doing that. Oh, it's just those skirmishes. Running down skirmishes are is quite fruitless. Come on, let's kill Grey Worm, but they're actually getting some of their own men. Bring him down, yes! Thrusting that spear straight into the guy's neck. So it's basically just their skirmish units. If we sort of push up, we'll be right. Let's send Jamie. That's Jamie fucking Lannister. Morgan Heckengard, let's get him to go up here. Jamie's still alive, which is absolutely fantastic. I've got to see where Randall Tarly is. I think he's just sitting back there, but the Lannister army is nearly in full disarray. 
Charging over there. Here comes Jamie Lannister. George! Let's run down the last of the Dothraki. So I found Randall Charlie. His division here is glitching out around this rock. But I really do love the Tarly looking units. They look fantastic. But he's there. Bloody and battle hardened. There's a couple more units of stragglers left. But both armies have been decimated on the field of fire here today. The loot train battle. And we want to try and wrap things up. Jamie Lannister is pushing up valiantly. With me men. Come on. <laughs> We might have to speed things up at some point. So let's just try and envelop those last ones. Swing you around here, mate. Oh no, they had a bit of a counter charge. Look at my men, they're so fucking just exhausted. Charging uphill against Dothraki. They're coming back with a counter charge. Draw your swords, men. Because they're out of skirmish power. Is that it? Come on, let's bring them down. Bring them down. <laughs> Come on, lads. You gotta risk it for the brisket. Oh, that one's alright. Push up here. Man, this is a close one. We did well. <laughs> we only just managed to swing around and rectify the problem we had on that right flank. Here we go. We've got a Lannister counter charge in the north here. Yes, down from the hill. And we should be able to finish off the last of the Dothraki. But how would the tide have changed if he had a full drone, a full, uh, a full grown dragon? I went to say Drogon, but Drogon's not even fully grown anyway. <laughs> right, they're still holding out on the right here. Nah, where? Who's holding out? Oh, on the top of the hill here. One last final charge. Just go for it, man. Shield wall! Shield wall! Brace yourselves, men! Oh my god. Horses flying. Men and weapons. Yes! Strike him down. Hacking and slashing. Shields will be splintered. Spears will be splintered. Or something shattered. For the Oringa! The victory is ours. And we've won the Battle of the Loot Train. We've won the Battle of Westworld. <laughs> That's what I instantly saw when um, that scene came up. Those huge sort of American canyon looking things. It just, it just reminded me of Westworld. But Jamie Lannister charging the last of the stragglers. Leaving Westworld for the last time. Apparently I heard that they do plan to show... Um, Roman medieval Westworld in the new season, so that should be really fucking cool. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notifications for the channel, you have to click the bell, of course, to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys would like to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Maybe you can pick up a strategy game you haven't picked up just yet. Maybe Hearts of Iron, maybe Crusader Kings 2, maybe a Total War. Check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below for cheap and reliable games. I do recommend going and checking out the prices even. There's some really good prices on there. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much much for watching once again make sure to take care of yourselves go out and have a fantastic rest of your day my name is Ben CMC goodbye really close cinematic shots here pushing through the bridge oh look at <laughs> that was probably the shot of the video there